everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that come in here who have issues reaching behind them. So they're having uh, a problem with reaching behind them, trying to scratch their back or whatever it may be back here, soaping themselves, you know, sometimes even putting on shirts or even doing their hair. They're having problems with this movement. This is external rotation of the shoulder and or internal rotation of the shoulder. So they're having problems doing this, reaching overhead like this behind them, or they're having reaching problems behind them like this. So how do you fix that? How do you fix their loss of ability to reach behind them like this and or like this? Well, you gotta start working in those positions. So let's start with external rotation. There's two exercises, one for external rotation and one for internal rotation. We're gonna break it down here for you. So external rotation first. First of all, you're gonna probably have to, you can do this in a door jam too. I'm gonna to show you how to do it with the door jam, but these are great tools. This is just surgical tubing with a handle. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna step on this sucker right here. So you can't see it on the floor, but I have this and it's dangling and I'm stepping on it on the floor. And you can kind of see right here behind me, you can kind of see I'm now in this externally rotated position to be here. And you may have to give yourself more slack depending on how much range you have. You may have, the more slack you need, just give yourself more slack. So uh, the more slack you need, if you don't have enough internal, external rotation to do that, start with more slack. And then over time, you can choke up on this thing and add more and more resistance to it. So right now, I'm stepping, uh, giving it plenty of slack so that way I don't mess up my shoulder and I'm in here, see that? And then I can do a contract, relax, and through here, contract, relax, contract, relax, and you can kind of see, contract, relax, and I'm getting more and more range as I do that. So that's external rotation using the circle tubing. And you work in that end range, three sets of 15, right in here, one, two, three, four, five. You just do that, three sets of 15. You can also do it from a different angle. This is from the floor, dangling. This is what it looks like on the floor. All I'm doing is taking this and I'm stepping on it like that and I'm behind my back like this. So that's what it looks like from the floor. You can give yourself more slack. So, or if you want more resistance, you choke up on it and now there's more resistance to the band to do it. So. There's a couple of options there. You can also do it at a different angle. So as you can see here, I've already affixed, uh, this is a pull up assist band. I'll put links in the description for these and where to get them on our Amazon link. So that way, you know, if you choose to do so, you, um, then you have them, it's easier to do. And then if you have a poster, uh, a rack or something like that, you can affix it to. Even in a door, you can do this as well. But anyway, so again, external rotation. And now the resistance is that way. I'm gonna hold this like this and I'm going to go into external rotation and walk away from the band. See that? I'm gonna move here just like this. And you can kind of see as I move forward and I could do a, just an end range here. One, two, and just work in that end range of external rotation. And I can, I can lean forward more if I want. I can uh, bend forward more if I want to get that more resistance. Or I can even just take a couple more steps forward to get more resistance this way, right there. I can really feel that in, in, in this position here. So I have to actually move this so I get more resistance right there. I've leaned forward and I'm kind of bent forward a little bit, a little bit there. And I can work three sets of 15 in this end range of shoulder external rotation. So that's external rotation. Now, if you only have, let's say, a door jam or something like that, you can also do it in a door jam. It's a little bit harder. But what you do, so let's pretend that this is a door jam. Uh, so if you're missing external rotation, you're going to 
kind of, depending on your range of motion, you're going to grab the door jam here like this. See that? And then all you do, I like to tell folks to put their tush up against the door jam right there. And you're going to slowly hip hinge forward. See that? Hip hinge forward. And it might not be a whole lot right there, hip hitch on. And you kind of see I'm working this end range of external rotation using just the door jam. See that? Boom. Three sets of 15 in there. See that? So that's using the door jam if you don't have pull up assist bands or surgical tubing to work with. Now, you covered this. So some folks are missing this and now I can scratch my back or whatever it may be or do my hair, put a shirt over myself without having to get my shoulder all twisted. Now we go into internal rotation. So internal shoulder rotation this way. So folks are missing this. So what we do, if you can see here, I've already got a surgical tubing affixed to the pull-up bar here. So this is surgical tubing with a pull-up, uh, excuse me, a, with a handle. And now I'm going to have this behind me. I'm going to turn around so you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is what I'm starting with here. And you can see there's a lot of slack. Some folks, they, they're having, they have really bad problems. They can't, they can't even reach behind them like this. And they may have to, you may have to start off with a lot of slack like this to begin with. And this is, this might be a, 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 a good stretch already for you by having this much slack. But I, I don't have internal rotation problems, but I'm going to go ahead and choke up on this so you can kind of see this better. So I'm going to choke up on this right there. Now I got more resistance. You can kind of see behind me what this kind of looks like. See that? Right there. And then I can, I can work in this end range here. I can either do a couple of things. I can squat down a little bit and work this end range, or I can contract and relax and work this end range in here. See that? Boom. Three sets of 15 in here. Or I can go into a little bit of a squat and get more resistance that way. Or I can help use my other hand to give more resistance, pull down on it, and now I have pretty good resistance into it. Wow, I can really feel that pull. And I can contract, relax, contract, relax in through there. Three sets of 15 in that end range. Boom, boom, boom. See that? So that's internal rotation with that. You can also use a pull-up assist band as well. I have a pull-up assist band right here. You can use this one as well. So you fix it to a, a pull-up bar or something like that. Um, so that's internal rotation. Now, if you don't have, you know, this or a pull-up assist band, you can also use your, your door jam uh, if you want. So what you do is you go into internal rotation. And sometimes just putting your hand behind you like this is... It can be a challenge. So what you do is you line yourself up with the door jam and you're going to have to grab it somehow right here around that lip, around the door jam. And then you slowly walk away from the door. See that? I don't have internal rotation problems, so this is not a big deal for me. And then as you get more and more range, you can actually reach up higher. See that? Now I'm reaching up higher. Let me put you guys closer here. So right, right through here, you can see a little bit closer there. Now, I, you can actually reach up higher onto the door jam, and then you can even do a little bit of a squat and work in here like this. See that? And this is kind of what it looks like from behind. See that? Boom. Let's see if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, but the idea here is now you're in a door jam, and you can, it's almost like you're scratching your back with the door jam, but you're keeping your hand fixed. See that? This is a good angle right here. You can kind of see what's happening behind my back like this. So I can kind of squat down like this. And as you get better and better, you can reach higher and higher this way and then work in that internal rotation of the shoulder using the door jam. So two exercises. In this position, using the surgical tubing, or 
So an external rotation or an internal rotation using the surgical tubing and or the door jam. So that way you can scratch your back again or just, you know, sometimes just reaching behind you, whatever it is you're trying to reach behind you, uh, sometimes soaping yourself, whatever it may be. So mostly it's being able to put on clothes is what we see some of these people losing the ability to do. You know, putting that, uh, getting around and doing this thing. So anyway, if you have any questions with this video, drop it off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching. We appreciate it. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button because that'll keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future. And that way you can continue to move well and live well. Also, I know you know folks who are starting to have difficulties or have totally lost the ability to reach behind them and reach over them, over their back. Share this with them. That's a uh, often, you know, uh, a neglected uh, stretch in here, and then they've lost that. And those simple daily activities of trying to reach behind you for whatever it is is lost. So share this with them. Sharing is caring. Also, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. It lets us know you care. Also, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.